Hey guys, this is PK for AtomicZebra.com and today we're going to talk about being nervous. Um, Alright, so this is, um, this is a story about what happened to me, I don't know, when was this? Uh, maybe 2000, I think it was 5, I think, 5. Um, I've been getting paid for magic for about a couple years back then and that's like maybe like second or third year when I was doing professional magic and um, the whole time I was nervous for every gig. I was just nervous for every gig and it got to a point where I needed a beer or two and uh, to, to, you know, to, to take the, take the edge off and, you know, I would just have like a couple of beers and I'd, I'd be professional. I wouldn't be drunk. I just have like a beer or two and it's, it's not professional at all. Uh, so yeah, like a pint, two pints, something like that. So the reason I think, the reason why I think I needed those substances to, to take the edge off was because I was nervous, right? And I, I know a lot of people get nervous, of course. Like before they start a big gig or something, whatever it is, a lot of people do get nervous. Now, how do you not be nervous? So another thing was that I used to be a teacher. I used to lecture, give presentations with a huge screen and stuff like, that. yeah. So I used to teach, um, English test preparation, uh, analyzing and finding shortcuts for the tests and basically punking the tests. And I used to be really good at my job. Now, one of the reasons why I was good besides analyzing the test, um, it, like I used to teach classes with 150 students and they would just, yeah, it would just be packed. And I would use the screen and I would be teaching with that screen using Keynote and, and like all the, the audio files and everything and I would teach that. But the thing is, I would never be nervous about teaching those classes. Even with like 150 people, like 300 pairs of eyes, 300 eyes on me, 150 pairs, 300 eyes, yeah, um, on me, I would not be nervous at all. Because I knew what I was going to do and I knew what I was going to say. I know everything was prepared and I can, even if I have a student asking me a random question, I can talk my, I can give the answer or if it's a difficult question, I can talk my way out of it. Uh, I was on top of it. Now, if you take those two ideas and put them together, the reason why I later found out, because now I don't get nervous. I don't need to drink before I perform. I don't get nervous at all. Uh, because I found that it's because not just practice, it's not just practice, it's because you're not fully confident of every outcome, okay? So here's what I think uh, you should try and do when you are out performing or when you feel nervous, right? Try to find like a really good self-working trick, not the 21 card trick, not, you know, not anything like that, but a, a really good self-working trick. Find something, a self-working trick, like a lazy man's uh, card trick, something like that. Uh, find a good self-working trick and open with that. And then people will be amazed, of course, because it's a good trick. They'll be amazed and then you now have the crowd. Okay, so now it gives you the confidence to, you know, get into it as opposed to, all right, now how, all right, how do I, I need to do a pass here. Are you looking at my hands? Like, oh, okay. Was that double bad? Like, you know, you're not doing that. So you're starting off strong with a good trick, self-working trick that is good. And then you have the audience and you can be a lot more comfortable doing what you do. All right. And another thing, don't do anything that you haven't practiced. Of course, of course you have to practice. That's not the point. No, I'm not saying practicing makes you less nervous. That's not what I'm saying because there's one thing that you haven't thought of and that is the outs, hecklers, because you, you will get nervous because of that and that's a very valid reason to be nervous, right? So uh, if you start with a self-working trick, there's nothing to heckle and then once you get into it, even the hecklers will be nicer once you uh, finish the trick well. See what happens 
in every situation, every type of spectator, and you'll get an understanding of how things work, how your trick works, how your routine works, which are the on beats and the off beats, everything. You'll know everything about your routine and you won't be nervous after that at all. At least with that routine. If you start new stuff, maybe, yeah. But yeah, you need to get to a point where you're not nervous about anything and you're just like, ah, oh, I can get out of this. I'm fine, I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, if you have any ideas, if you have any comments, questions, just leave a comment below. You know how YouTube works. You know how the internet works. You can just type away and we'll talk. All right. So subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in another video. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.